Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping. Tactical Nut here with another knife review for you. Today we're going to talk about the Combat Ready Propaganda. Small hint, that's all this is. Propaganda. Well, why do you say that? Well, let me first take you through some specs on the knife to show you why I got it and why I thought it might be a good idea to get it. Um, it is Aus 8 steel. You have a three and a quarter inch Tanto point blade. Um, eighth of an inch thick. Scary blood groove for all that stabbing capabilities that this has. Um, it does have aluminum handle scale, so it does make it a bit lighter. And as you can see, that this uh, has little dimples in it, sort of like a golf ball. So it does give it some pretty good traction. Uh, this glass breaker that you see here on the end is attached by this point. So this also gives some good traction. And the liner lock also gives a little bit of traction there so kind of on paper you know sounds pretty good uh, the pocket clip is right hand only tip down which no big deal for me because I'm right handed I like my knives tip down so no big deal spring assisted very fast out when it comes out um, and I love spring assisted knives but if you notice there's a, a hole there right here that's where the dual thumb studs used to be. Um, so kind of give you a rundown as to what has happened with this knife since I put it into testing. As I'm driving around, I'm sitting around the house, I'm doing this all the time. I'm trying to simulate a long-term use in a short period of time so I can see and you know report back to you how these, you know, the knives that I use hold up. Um, well, just from doing that and from everyday uses, I mean, I've, it does great with uh, carving notches in wood, uh, shaving wood, opening packages, cutting up cardboard, all that kind of stuff. It does really well. The blade still is great. The edge retention has been outstanding. Um, but what started to happen when I first started using it a lot was this pommel right here started to get really loose. So I had to tighten the screws right here that held it on. Also, when I first got the knife, there was no blade play whatsoever forward or back. No, and there's still none in this direction, but side to side, as you can see, that's a lot of blade play. I've already tightened this up once before. This has already started happening again. Um, I mean, the blade centering was really good when they did it. I was happy with that. Um, but just over everyday use, this thing is slowly kind of beating itself to, uh, apart already. Um, and as you see... The holes there, when I said the dual thumb studs used to be there, I don't even know why they put them on there to begin with, because there's a slight little ramp right here, but there's not enough room to get your fingers, your thumb, on the thumb studs to deploy it. I'm not going to use them anyway. It's a spring-assisted knife. That's why I get a spring-assisted knife, so I can use the flipper. Um, but they fell out once, so I put them back in. They f and they started to fall out again. I thought about putting some Loctite on it, but then I'm like, you know what, I don't use these things. You, you can't really use them anyway. It's too close to the frame. So I just let them, yeah, I just went ahead and took them out because they were getting so loose. But already, once again, I've already tightened it up once before, and we're right back to where we were and with all the loose blade play. I'm just giving it a matter of time before the pommel or the glass breaker starts to come loose again. Um, I mean, I paid 7 bucks at Smoky Mountain Knife Works on clearance. I felt like I kind of couldn't go wrong. I was really hoping I was going to find the diamond in the rough, so to speak. You got this great blade, blade for a really low price. Just didn't happen. I mean, it normally only retails for like 15 bucks at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. But, um, you know, I was getting a different knife, so I figured, why not throw this into the mix? Because it was so inexpensive, and yeah, who knows, you might get lucky. But, sorry, didn't happen this time. Um, so, this is the only combat ready knife I've ever owned. Uh, they have a lot of fixed blades, they have other um, folding knives as well. So, I can't give you an opinion on like them as a company, if this was a fluke or anything like that. I'm just going to use this as a beater knife, probably throw it in the toolbox or something like that, and you know, just use it to thrash on and stuff like that. Um, definitely not going to be carrying it every day anymore because I just don't feel like I can rely on it so I'm not going to recommend it I 
somebody gave you one as a gift, okay, throw it in your toolbox and keep it for, you know, using prying stuff open or whatever, because if it snaps, you don't care. Um, I'll probably just thrash on until it physically falls apart. But we'll see. Um, so hopefully this is helpful for you. I don't know if you've been looking to get anything by Combat Ready Knives. If you do, don't get this one. Until then, be prepared and have fun.